We're going to learn Masechtes Brachis, Perek, Aleph, Mishnah, Aleph. There is a mitzvah every single day to read Shema, twice a day, once in the evening and a second time in the morning. As it says in the first paragraph of Shema, Uvishach Bucha Uvkumecha, that you should say the Shema the first time when you lie down in the evening to go to sleep, and the second time, Uvkumecha, when you wake up in the morning. Our mission is going to discuss in the evening when is the earliest that a person can start saying the Shema and until when is the latest that a person can say the Shema. So starts our Mishnah that when can a person start saying Shema in the evening says the Mishnah that it's the same time that if you have a Koyin that becomes Tameh impure there are certain times that going to the Mikvah is not enough. The Kayin, after going to mikvah, has to wait until three stars come out. And it's from that moment that the Kayin is then allowed to eat his special food of truma. It's from that moment that a person can start reading the Shema. In other words, a person can start reading Shema from Seis HaKechavim when the stars come out. Now, until when can a person say the Shema? The Mishnah is going to bring three opinions. The first opinion, the opinion of Rabbi Eliezer, is that a person can say the Shema until the end of the first watch. Rabbi Eliezer holds that the night can be divided into three watches, each watch totaling up to four hours. So Rabbi Eliezer says that a person can start reading Shema from when the stars come out until the end of the fourth hour until 10 p.m. The second opinion, the opinion of the Chachamim, is that a person can read the Shema until Chatzois, until midnight. And the third opinion is the opinion of Rabban Gamliel that a person can read the Shema all the way until Amud Shachar, until dawn. And then our Mishnah says a story that one night the children of Ram and Gamaliel went to a wedding. They came back from the wedding. It was already after midnight and they told their father, Rav and Gamaliel, that we didn't read the Shema yet. What should we do? And their father answered them that if it is not dawn yet, even though it's after midnight, you still have to say the Shema. Because really the Chachamim who said till midnight agree with me that it should be all the way until dawn. The only reason they made the time earlier to midnight is to prevent a person from missing their appropriate time and to do an Avera. And the Mishnah then gives two other examples where the Chachamim said until Chatzais in order to prevent a person from doing an Avera, but really if they miss the time of Chatzais, they can say it until dawn. The first example is that when a person brings a carbon on the Mizbeach, there are certain things that need to be burned, like the fats and like the limbs. So the Chachamim said that a person has until midnight to burn it. Says our Mishnah that really if a person missed the deadline, they can do it until dawn. And the second example is there are certain carbonates that there is a time limit that a, the owner of the carbon or the kahanim can only eat the meat from the carbon for that day and that night. So the Chachamim says that the time ends at midnight and our Mishnah clarifies that if a person misses their deadline, really the Chachamim agree that a person can eat it all the way until dawn. And the only reason why by Shema and by burning the limbs and by eating the meat they, the Chachamim initially said until midnight is to prevent a person from doing an Avera and missing this deadline. We are now going to read the Mishnah inside. From when can you read the Shema in the evening? From the time that the Kehanim enter to eat the Truma. And as we said before, that is the time of Tzeisa when the stars come out. Ad Soif Ashmura Arishayna until the end of the first watch. You can read the Shema until 10 p.m. 
Divrei Rabbi Eliezer, these are the words, this is the opinion of Rabbi Eliezer. You can say the Shema until midnight. Rabban Gamliel, Rabban Gamliel says, you can read the Shema until dawn. There was a story that his children came from a house of drinking. Rabbi Gamliel's children came from a wedding. And Amru Loi, they said to their father, Rabbi Gamliel, Loi karinu es Shema. We did not yet read the Shema. Amar Lohem, so he said to them, Im loy ala mudashachar, if it is not yet dawn, then chayavim atem likrois, you are responsible to read the Shema. And veloizu bulvad, and not only this, ela rather, kol masha amru chachavim at chatzois, everything that the chachavim said, that the time limit is only until chatzois, really mitzvasa nachiyala mudashachar, their mitzvah really is. Until dawn. And the Mishnah will now give two other examples where the Chachamim said that you have to do them till Chatzais, and really it can be done until dawn. Example number one Hector Chalavim Beivarim, burning the fats and the limbs of a carbon on the Mizbeach, Mitzvah Senachi Alamudashachar. Its mitzvah really is all the way until dawn. Example number two. Bechal Hanechalim Liyim Echad, anything that can be eaten for one day. Any carbon that has a time limit that you can only eat its meat for one day, mitzvah sanachiyala muda shachar, its its mitzvah is it can be eaten until dawn. So ask the Mishnah im kein if so, lama amru chachamim at chatzois. Why did the chachamim say that it can only be done until chatzois? In these three examples, the example of shema and the example of burning the limbs and the fats and the example of Eating the meat of a carbon, why did they initially say till chatzais? Answers the Mishnah, to distance the person from doing an Avera. The Chachamim were worried that if they're going to say all the way till dawn, then a person, if he's going to miss it, then they're no longer going to be able to perform that mitzvah. So they said that you can only do it until midnight. So if you miss that deadline, then you still have an opportunity to do it until dawn.